75 fuel management system uses lube oil under high pressure to supply the force needed to inject fuel into the cylinders. Oil under pressure is called injection control pressure. The injection control pressure system components are the oil reservoir, the high pressure pump, the branch tube assembly, the high pressure rails, the case to head tubes, and the port plugs. During operation, lube oil is drawn from a reservoir in the V of the crankcase. This reservoir is kept full by the engine's lubrication system. The high pressure pump, driven off the rear gear train, discharges oil through the pump adapter into the branch tube and then to each case to head tube. The case to head tubes transfer oil to the port plug check valves and into the high pressure oil rails. The rails store the high pressure oil for the injectors. The fuel system operation requires varying injection control pressure depending upon the operating conditions. To control the pressure, the injection pressure regulator valve, or IPR, dumps excess oil back into the crankcase. The IPR, mounted in the body of the high pressure pump, is controlled by the ECM. The ECM monitors the injection control pressure sensor signal to verify the correct operation of the injection pressure regulator. As demand for injection control pressure, or ICP, increases, the ECM increases the signal duty cycle to the IPR solenoid, trapping more oil in the system and increasing injection control pressure. When ICP demand decreases, the ECM decreases the duty cycle to the solenoid, allowing more oil to drain from the system and decreasing the injection control pressure. The system is protected by a pressure relief valve in the IPR that relieves pressure at about 4600 PSI.